if you happen to have a sit down type of job, uh, you can actually have this on all the time. Uh, the more you stimulate, the faster it's going to get better. All right. So basically, this is the main treatment on both sides of the knee, and that's what you do. Now, some of you may have some pain behind the kneecap, the patella. Then what I suggest you do, you just put the pads above the kneecap, okay? And then the second one, you can put it anywhere you like. But we want to stimulate this area because there's a small blood vessels that goes to the kneecap and will stimulate the circulation of that blood vessel to help it further, okay? So just like that. Now, if you have a lot of swelling in your knees, this is also good because this gets the circulation going to reduce the inflammation. If you happen to be the type of person that get a lot of swelling in your legs overall, okay, whether it's your knee, your calf area, use it in this area, plus you can use it on the calf muscle to actually use the, what we call the muscle pumping action to help drive the lymphatic and the blood circulation to help to reduce the overall swelling, all right? So try that and you'll see excellent results. Now, some of you may be getting what we call uh, Patella femoral joint syndrome, meaning you get pain behind the kneecap, okay? It's not the ligaments, it's actually behind the kneecap. And that can be caused by imbalances of the muscle that control, okay, your leg movement. So if that's the case, I would treat the knee. So go to the section where, you know, I teach you how to treat knees. But I would also treat the muscle of the quadriceps, especially this muscle here, what we call the vastus medialis muscle. So we put one pad there, okay, as one, you know, as part of the treatment, and then we stimulate, because we want to make sure the tone of this group and this group are normal, okay? If we do that, then the kneecap will stay in better alignment because you're pulling on it evenly. It's like different cables. If one cable is too tight, then the alignment is going to be off. But if both cable are equally, you know, have equal tension, then the kneecap is going to track better, you know, within the, 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 you know, the, the knee joint. So that's going to make it work better. So for the vastus mediators, and then you know the other group on the outside. So in the fancy name for this muscle group is the vastus you know lateralis. Okay, so basically this is what we do. All right, uh, time wise, usually I keep the treatment around 20, 30 minutes because that's the amount the time you need to help you know to see and measure a big difference in improvement and repetition. Any anything from three to five times a day or as you need it, it's fine. Again, don't worry about overusing. Now, if you had knee surgery, or if you had metal implants in your knees already, you should be using the pain therapy system on your knee, because it helps to break up the scar tissue, help to reduce the inflammation, and relieve the pain. Now, it is perfectly safe to use the pain therapy system on any area where you have metal. So if you have metal implants in your knees, go ahead and use it. It's good for it. Now, if you happen to feel now, you pinch a needle, all you have to do, just move the pads over slightly, and then that's fine. Also, if you're on any medication, or if you're diabetic, you can also safely use this device because there's no chemicals involved. So you can use it for long term, as often as you like, with no side effects, only feeling good. Now, one exercise I always recommend for anyone with knee pain especially if you have arthritic changes in your knee joint, is to passively swing your legs. Now, I recommend you swing it about 2,000 times a day. Now, that may sound like a lot, but it really isn't. And what I recommend is you just do about 100 each time and just do a three of the day because it's going to really help to lubricate the joint and help to re-stimulate some cartilage, new cartilage regeneration. So watch my knees, all right? So very simple. Just support yourself somewhere, you know, by holding on to something and just gently swing that knee, okay? We're not working the muscle, we're just gently and passively moving that joint within its range of motion, okay? So full range of motion. I want the knee to be bent and then straighten out, but very loosely, okay? Just like that, very loosely right from the hip. So it's very fast to do about 100. So to do 2,000 a day, it really is, is very simple. And if you do that, it's going to really help to improve the overall health of your knee. So continue to do that, and you're going to see some big changes over time.
Now, if you get uh, pain in your calf muscles, or if your calf muscle happen to go into spasm, you know, during the night, you can use my pain therapy system to help to relieve the muscle spasm. Also, if you get swelling in your legs, if you have ankle problems, if you have diabetic neuropathy, uh, poor lymphatic drainage, this same stimulation on the calf muscle is going to help with all those uh, different conditions. So, we're going to use the large pads. In fact, use the large pads for your entire body except for your neck and face. So, basically two ways you can do it. You can put one pad on each side of the calf muscle. Just like that. Okay. And just turn it on. And again, it doesn't matter which mode you choose to use. Uh, they will give you the same results. Uh, but you do want to turn up to a point where you're actually getting some stimulation and muscle activity. You want muscle to contract and relax because it will squeeze the, the lymphatic, squeeze the blood vessel and release them to help pump the fluid and pump the inflammation you know, from your lower limb. So it's going to be very good for anybody uh, who suffers with circulation problem and also anyone who gets cramping in the calf. Now, second uh, pad placement uh, is this. I can just put one pad behind the calf, and the second one goes behind my knee. Now, this position might actually be more effective for those of you who have what we call sciatic nerve problem. If you have pain or numbness that runs down from your back to your hip all the way down your leg, then you want to try to pass you know, in these two areas, because we want to stimulate the circulation of your sciatic nerve. Okay, so let me turn it on, or turn it up, and then turn it on. Again, we want to turn up to a point where we're actually seeing and feeling some muscle contraction and relaxation. And, uh, as you may have experienced by now, the sensation changes all the time, because my device is programmed to modify itself so your body never get used to it. That's why this is one of the most effective pain relieving uh, and self you know, healing product there is around, okay? And this feels really good, and uh, this may allow you to re you know, get rid of that cramp and get a better night's sleep, okay? So take care. Now, if you suffer with pain at the front of the leg or the shin area, or if you get what we call shin splint, now you need to rest the leg, okay, if you're a jogger or, you know, a, a walker, just rest it a little bit and then use a the stimulation from the pads to help to restore good function there and to relieve the pain. Now the first pad, just put it below the knee on the shin side. And then the second pad can go just where anywhere you want, but just a little bit below is good. Now first pad should go on here because there is a nerve that exit from this part of the, the leg, and we want to stimulate that nerve in order to get the healing going on. And all you do, just turn it on. And then you want to turn it on to a point where you actually get muscle contraction and relaxation. And you can use any mode you like, and do it for at least 20 minutes, and you can repeat it three, four times a day until you see your maximum recovery. Okay? so. That's basically what you need to do to relieve your shin pain and shin splint. But if you do have shin splint, that means you got some micro fracture within the shin bone, so you should be taking some rest. But the stimulation is going to recover much faster.